What's up everyone? Thanks for coming by. If you're new to this channel, um, thank you for stopping by. If you've seen my videos before, thanks for coming back. Um, so guys, you know, I get a lot of questions about my man cave because I do a lot of podcasts. I do a lot of Big Brother podcasts or just other gaming podcasts or whatever. And people always ask me, you know, what's in my background uh, when I do these podcasts? So I figured, you know what, I could just show you guys. This is something that has been a big part of my life and it's Marvel Comics. It's been a big, big part of my life growing up as a kid into my adulthood. Um, you know, I remember uh, playing with the toys and collecting the books and the cards way back in the 80s. Now, if you're new to, you know, the movies and stuff, if it's something new you didn't grow up with, or maybe you're growing up with it now, you're a young kid now, and you're growing up with the movies in your life, you're probably thinking, oh man, the 80s, that was so long ago, and uh, you're right, it was a long, long time ago, so, uh, you know, I did collect all the cards, the comics, all that stuff, I used to watch uh, the old, old Spider-Man back in the day before school, after school. Like, we're talking side-scrolling Spider-Man, pow, bath, all that kind of stuff. With those kind of effects. Uh, nothing too crazy like what you see today. I used to watch that religiously before and after school. It was the first thing I did when I came home. I ran to the TV, turned on Spider-Man. It always ended up being on at that time. So, I want to show you guys around the room. This is my man cave. Um, I want to start with this. So... I have here, I have my, this is my precious wall. This is my favorite wall in the entire room. This is where I have all my custom art. So um, I do go to Comic-Con or I used to go to Comic-Con uh, when it came to Ottawa. It's been here, I think, five times. I've been there about two times. I've been to two Comic-Cons. And it's a shame that it always falls on the same weekend every year as another big event, which I'll get to uh, in a minute. So this is my custom art wall. This is my favorite wall in the entire room. So I'll show you here if you want to take a look. Um, I bought these pieces at the very first Comic-Con I ever went to. This is Mechanical Thor, uh, just such a beautiful piece. Uh, this is Mechanical Wolverine, which is another beautiful piece. This is Mechanical Loki, another beautiful piece. Now, if anybody knows who this artist is, please let me know in the comments below. I have no idea who this guy is, and I absolutely love his art. I would love to buy more pieces from him, uh, but I just have no idea who he is. My other piece here, this is, this is probably my favorite one. It's Wolverine versus Venom. And it's from a guy called Gibson Quarter. To Bruno, all the best. Gibson Quarter. Uh, he also has a Wolverine piece I really want on this wall. It's amazing. So this here is my custom art wall. Um, if anybody watching this video does art, does draw these cool comics, stuff like that, please leave a comment below. Let me know. I'd love to have your art on this wall. I specifically leave this wall empty um, and only for custom art. Um, not things you can really buy in the store, things like that. As you can see, I have a lot of space here. I want to fill this wall completely. I want this all this space. I want it all packed with custom art. This is going to be that wall. So I was talking earlier about, um, you know, how Comic-Con always falls on the same weekend every year. And that brings me to this here. This is my shrine. I was on a show called Big Brother Canada. And this is just a little spot. It's a part of my life. It's a little spot I have in my man cave. And it has to do with that. So just, I played on two different seasons. So this is my veto chip from season three. This is my veto chip from season five. And just some things to do with the show. Here's my bobblehead. Pretty neat. I have my own bobblehead. Uh, just some things. Blah, blah, blah. Some parts from the show. Look at that. And uh, where am I? I am right where the sun is, of course, where the light is. I'm right there. So that's me right there. Big Brother Canada Season 3. Uh, I also played again on Season 5. So anyway, uh, no big deal. There's just some parts for that. Some big memorabilia about that. I also have my Superman. You got to have some Superman love. No hate for DC here. A uh, little bit of Superman love. Nothing too crazy. But um, that's that. I also want to show you guys this. This is a Hulk hot toy. They call it a toy. But it is far from it. Uh, these things aren't cheap. Um, they're a collector's item for sure. But these are, it's different because these are ones you can take out of the box and it still keeps its value, uh, which is neat. I won't be taking it out of the box, but it's my Hulk Hot toy. This thing is amazing. It's so lifelike. The details in it, uh, incredible. Uh, followed by some Hulk hands uh, beside it. Okay, so I'll give you a little tour here. So here we have my name. Uh, made out of comic book covers. So we see B R. What's my name? Bruno. We got a Hulk 
light fixture, or sorry, uh, light cover, switch cover. There's my name, Bruno. Captain America poster on the wall. Some, uh, there's another light switch, some Avenger stuff. Um, that's a 3D poster. It's probably not going to show on the video. I'm not sure, but uh, that's a 3D poster. Captain America shield. Captain America love. Another 3D poster, Spider-Man. That's probably about a three-foot figure of Spider-Man right there. I don't know if it'll come across. Some Marvel mugs. Some Nintendo love. Another 3D poster. Back to my wall. So this is my gamer room. Here we have um, some Spider-Man, Iron Man, uh, my gaming station. Here's my gaming chair. So this is my office. This is my gaming area, my office. This is where I spend a lot of my time. So here you have it. There's the Lord of the Rings sword. And this is it. It's not complete yet. It's far from complete. I'd love to add some more stuff to it. And, you know, like I said, if there's anybody here uh, watching this video that, you know, does draw or have some cool ideas or anything, please write it down. Um, you know, if you have Marvel stuff uh, in your content on your YouTube channel, please let me know. I'd love to check it out and help support you uh, for sure. So this is my room. I've been collecting comics and cards and you name it, anything to do with Marvel my entire life. And it's just been a part of my childhood, helped me grow up, um, and all that stuff. I just, I just love the whole concept, the whole idea. Uh, you know, Stanley passed away this year, which is a big loss for you know all the fans in the Marvel world. Um, he was just such a genius. His story on how he even became to what he is and how Marvel started is just a great story. Um, you know, he, he was such, and he, right to the end, he was in his 90s, and he still was doing cameos and still involved and still talking to the fans. You know, the guy never stopped. A um, lot of love for Stan Lee. What a great man uh, and everything he brought to the table, the characters he created and everything. Um, so I definitely do want to show this, this again here, guys. Please, if you have any art, please let me know. I would love to put your art up here. And I'll do another little loop around of the room. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not complete, but pretty cool. Um, I definitely want some more stuff to add. Um, so yeah, looking at my wall, you'd probably think either Captain America or Spider-Man are probably my favorite, which is far from the truth. Even growing up, never really cared for them much. Um, I was always a Hulk, Wolverine fan. Wolverine has always been my favorite. Yeah, growing up, I was always a Wolverine fan. Uh, big time, big time. X-Men, the X-Men cartoon, uh, the 90s cartoon is incredible. Still to this day, my favorite cartoon. Absolutely love it. Uh, I'll watch it anytime I see it. Um, you know, they just don't make cartoons and stuff like that anymore, uh, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, here is my man cave. A little 360 view of it. There's a sword, Lord of the Rings sword. Uh, but yeah, this is it. And, uh, you know, this is my man cave. This is where I get to get away from everything. This is my office. And it's still a work in progress. I got lots more to do. I got lots more I want to add. Um, I do have some comic books, actually, I'd like to show you that I have. Yeah, that's one thing I made is to show you guys some of the old school comics. This is the Thing versus the Golem. It is awesome old school Venom one. You can't tell by looking at it, but the cover is all bumpy. It's all like, not 3D, but it's not flat on the page. It kind of comes off the page. Uh, awesome, awesome book. Uh, here's a holographic one. These are just a few. I have tons. This is a holographic one. Uh, Spider-Man vs. Venom. Really good one there. Uh, the Thing with Miss Marvel. This is an old one. These are all very, very, very old. Uh, this one here is holographic, uh, Spider-Man holographic, another Spider-Man holographic ones. These guns were awesome. Uh, growing up, these were my favorite. I also have, what actually got me into the comics in the first place, uh, what got me into the comics in the first place was actually, uh, I always collected them and stuff. My favorite comic had to be the one where Superman dies. That that comic was amazing. That's what really, really, really got me really hooked. Um, you know, I was into comics before that and all that stuff, but that was the first comic, because every comic, you know what's gonna happen. The bad guy comes in, the hero comes and saves the day. That's just, it always happens, it always plays out. But with that Superman dies comic, you never knew on which what was gonna happen next, which hero was gonna die. You know, he killed off so many different heroes, that you don't know, just yeah, I loved it. It was my favorite favorite comic still to this day is my favorite comic um, And it just you know doomsday comes through and just destroys uh, You know one hero after another after another um, Just a great great story 
So if you haven't read that comic, uh, I suggest you do. Fantastic story. Um, so guys, anyway, that's some of my comics. I have all the cards. I used to collect the cards. I have full sets back from, you know, the 80s, the 90s, whatever it was. Uh, you know, the first four or five sets, I have the full collection. Uh, everything. I'm just, I've been a big, big fan. So guys, thanks for watching. If you're still here watching, thank you very, very much. Again, guys, this wall here, if you have any art, please reach out to me. I'd love to have some to put up on this wall. I just really want to add to it. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. I'm looking forward to, you know, I haven't seen Captain Marvel yet, but I'm going tomorrow to watch it. Can't wait to see it. And all the upcoming movies, you know, Endgame is coming out. There's so many good movies. I really want to do some Ghost Rider movies. Uh, Ghost Rider was awesome back in the day. I hope they just, when they launch it, they make a good series out of it because he's such a sick character. Uh, they can do a lot of work with it. And, you know, where we're at today with technology and stuff, the movies are just so incredible. Uh, what they can do now compared to what they could do even 10, 15 years ago is just amazing. So hopefully uh, all these movies coming out, there's so many to watch. Uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, you can name it. There's so many of them coming out. Uh, so we have a lot of Marvel to look forward to for years and years and years. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let me know. If you have some content you want me to look at, post down on the on the comments below. I'd love to check out your stuff. Uh, I just uh, Anything to do with, with Marvel, anything to do with this stuff, I absolutely love it. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.